Alright, this is Vampiro for Gaming Fanatic, my webpage. Raw and uncut, as always. And I, I, this is the day after Thanksgiving, and I said, oh, I'm going to record myself live playing Black Ops 2 on Xbox. Because uh, a couple months ago I bought the HD PVR 2. And I said, oh, I'll stream myself so you guys can all laugh and watch me die on Black Ops 2. But I still love the game. But anyways, the, the point of this video is to have a software review on streaming live from the Hot Podge, Stream Easy. And it's beta software that just came out. And you actually can stream straight from your HD PVR2 to your PC to Twitch TV or stream. Uh, US stream instead of using XSplit so you don't have to go through XSplit anymore to record live and if you don't want something elaborate and you don't care about having you know web page things on it or anything like that or pictures and added stuff and blocking chat we will see I'm gonna tell you how I got the software and then we're gonna see how it records because I actually have not even tried to record with the software yet I want to see how easy it is and how good it will look on my twitch TV page I don't use US stream because it's too expensive and twitch TV is free and the free version of US stream only does standard death definite uh, standard quality definition whatever um, alright so let's go and I'll show you how I went about getting this so I went to their web page and I always click on the HD PVR 2 gaming edition so I did and then from there I went to support because this so for some reason there's never downloads right here and I will be showing you this only on the Xbox 360 I don't play PlayStation 3 sorry but I don't I went to support and then I looked for my product and we all know it's the HD PVR 2 gaming edition so here there is more uh, drivers to updated so even if you don't want to stream live I would recommend you to get these drivers that came out th earlier this month you have a uh, the actual driver itself to drive the hardware that came out in over November 8th and then you have a software update that came out on uh, November 5th so I would recommend doing that I would download the software uh, download the software and the driver install the software first and then the driver then me I'm always anal and I like beta stuff so I said oh I, and there hasn't been no beta software at all so I said I'll click on this the beta software boom stream easy for HD PVR 2 beta version 1.1 G stream your videos gameplay through Ustream and twitch I was like holy shit this is awesome man so you can cut out the uh, third-party XSplit because a lot of people don't know how to use XSplit or have no desire they just want to put their Xbox streams on Twitch TV or you stream without having to deal with another third-party software to get the stream live on those TV stations so you know I downloaded it followed the instructions and then installed it so then I went to um, here's the software right here and I'll show you of course and you know how it always does is always screwed up screws up X split the top up but it's nothing there it just tells you what it is it's just the the software it tells you this is the dashboard it says uh, HD PVR 2 stream easy dashboard so I when I first got it, I'm going to unlock it right here to show you. When I first got it, it was on component, and then I had a black screen, and I got nervous. But I'm using all HD DMI, so you would have to set it up to how you have it hooked up. And I got high internet, so I put on a high bandwidth. And then whatever streaming ser uh, service you use. 
and then your channel and then your local area connection that goes through your PC to stream it to the TV channel of your choice. And then you have the advance. I don't know why it says advance. I guess it just gives you detail but doesn't let you change nothing in here. It's just detailing of you know what you picked and what's going to happen, how is how it's going to upload and in your hardware. So I'll go back to the basics. And then we'll lock it because this is the same thing I'm going to use. So if some days I just don't want to use XSplit, I could use this. Now let's see how it works. All right, it's a change. The push button on the HD PVR2 does not work for the Stream Easy dashboard. You actually got to come over here because I know a lot of people don't read all the way down, and we all skip steps. I'm I'm a I'm one of the persons that always does that kind of stuff. Then I start bitching like crazy. Why isn't it working? Because I didn't read the directions, but I actually did. Because this really interested me, this software. Because I think it, I, w I would like to see people be able to stream without having to buy XSplit. They, can, they, you know, they invested the money in the hardware. And I'm, I'm very glad that Hot Podge invested the time and effort to make their own first party software to stream to Twitch TV or you stream it and I um, I'm very impressed by it okay so now let's see so you just come to the red button right here and you click this to green and it should start streaming to your to your channel let's find out if it works so there we go it says starting it says it's on air right now running so now let's see how it looks. We're gonna go to my channel. And there it is. Sound, everything. And by doing this, I didn't have to make no adjustments to the X split or anything like that. It just automatically did all the work for me. You just have to make sure you have your video source and your audio source the way you have it hooked up coming out of your Xbox or if you're using a receiver too that the, the sources are set towards your connections and you're fine. Look at it. You're seeing the stream right here right now and it's working good and it tells me to press start and the software works great and I'm very impressed and I'm glad that they did this for people so that way they can just stream without using a third party hop hodge i give you a, a 10 because the quality is great easy use and you actually are supporting your hardware with good software to allow people to stream without using a third party software and i i think that is great and i'm very impressed by it and i thank you for doing this for all your fans that invested money in your hardware and on that note, I'm out of here. And if you're wondering why it's gray right now, it's because my Xbox went in screensaver mode, so it has nothing to do with the software or the or the Hopodge HD uh, recorder. And uh, thanks for watching, and I hope this helps you out. And uh, I hope to see people stream live. And I'm out of here. Thanks for watching my video, as always my unedited raw and uncut videos i appreciate it a lot keep coming to my webpage all right i'm really out of here now bye